Something extraordinary is happening in this car chase in Santa Clarita. Uh, Trace Gallagher has got the extraordinary details. Trace. Crazy, Megan, because this is now in downtown Los Angeles near the University of Southern California, and it really has been jackpot for the entire downtown because these suspects are now throwing money out the window, and they have been for the better part of the last 15 minutes. And now the dangerous situation is, is you have kids that are actually running out of their house, watching this on TV, and chasing this car, so they're posing even more danger. On top of that, we now believe that at least three of the suspects have gotten out, and there are at least two suspects. Suspects that are still in the car. You can see people on the side of the road. If I can, just play the video of them throwing some of the cash out the windows. And they have thrown this out by our count at least five wow. or six different times. Cash being thrown out. And wow. you can see the kids are all running after it, right? They've done this a bunch of times, Megan. And you can see that these kids are running after the car now. They know where it is. It's on every television station in Los Angeles. And now you got kids running out of their house in downtown looking for a little cash. Now we're back live. They're still down by the University of Southern California, about in that area of downtown, and people know where they are. And now, on top of the bank robbery, we have confirmed that there is a handgun involved in this. So we know, as the police officers say, they are armed, they are reckless, they are dangerous, and they have led police up to a dozen cruisers on this high speed chase at times of 110 miles per hour for almost one solid hour. Look at the people on the side looking for the money. The police tell us, Megan, that every time they throw cash out, they actually have GPS indicators inside the police car, and they push a button. Every time they push money out, they push a button, and that is location of another crime scene. So every place they put money out, they go back and try to get the cash. Good luck trying Good to luck gather up right. all that cash because a lot of it's down. You see them throwing something else out back there? We know there's two people in the car, Megan. It looks to me... Like there could be three. I mean, we know three people There's have gotten more. out, but you can see There's here. Some yeah, more. and Look they're at jumping the in front running. of the cops, right? And they're getting in the way. They're trying to jump in front of the cops, like, hey, give us the money, give us the money. I mean, this is this is downtown Los Angeles, a very impoverished area. And when you got people throwing money out, you've got some people that badly want that money. It's a black Volvo. And again, we have kind of reiterated this. They have they've gone over and they've run the license plate. So if this car's not stolen, they know who they're dealing with. They will try to contact this guy if he has a cell phone. They'll try and contact his cell phone. Some of them pick up. Some of them don't. But all of them are desperate. And some of them, as we talked about earlier, Megan, are three-strike offenders, which means that they're going away for a very long time when they're caught. These guys are being pursued very aggressively because they pose a very big danger, as we can see, to people around them. It, it, it appears, look at the people running up to the car, it, it appears like they throw the money out the window when the cops get close to perhaps deter the police from continuing their pursuit because suddenly there are people in between the cop car and the assailant's uh, car picking up money. Yeah, and the interesting thing about this, Megan, is if they want to get away from the cops and get some distance, they keep kind of going around in circles or kind of winding around in different areas. And there are a number of freeway entrances they could get back on, get on the freeway, and increase this chase or at least lengthen this chase. And so far, they've chosen not to do that. They've chosen to go back to surface streets. And the old rule of hand the police will always tell you is, is that suspects always tend to go to where they know the best because they think their best chance to get away is to go to their home territory. We're not saying these guys are from the downtown Los Angeles area because we simply don't know. But as a rule, a lot of these car chase suspects tend to go where they know because they're familiar with it and they believe that's their best chance of escape, though they never do get away, Megan. Look at folks, some of them waving at the car as it goes along the streets. Uh, and who knows how much money, how, what those bills are that they're throwing out of the window. I was going to ask you earlier whether this was a, a, you mentioned attempted robbery, whether it was a successful one. The, it appears the answer is yes. We'll talk more about it in just a minute. Got to get a quick break in. Don't go away.